What's up, everyone? This is CyberNight86610, and today we're going to be opening up uh, three Yu-Gi-Oh! Gold Series Haunted Mine mini boxes for you guys. So yeah, there's still a lot of great cards in these sets, so I thought I would get a few of them, and uh, let's see what we get from them. I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully something really cool. But uh, yeah, these have the Ghost Rares in them, too, so I think they're definitely worth picking up, and I want to do more Gold Series openings anyway. And also, in case people are wondering, I got all these off Amazon. So, yeah. <laughs> I know people always ask me that question where I get different things. First off, there's a box. Does it have anything on the back? Uh, I guess I'll go ahead and show you guys that. I don't know. <laughs> there we go. And yeah, these basically have one giant pack in them, too. It's not like the premium gold where you have several packs. It's just like a giant booster pack like this with 25 cards in it. I'm trying to remember if the gold cards are in the front or what. I kind of hope they're not in the front because it spoils it. But if it does, it does, I guess, right? And... Okay, maybe they're in the middle on this one. I forgot which one. Some gold series have them at the front, some have them in the middle and stuff too. So I'm glad that's not spoiled at the beginning. All right, we have a lot of cool cards, a lot of zombie cards. Yeah, I remember like Dark Scorpions, Goblin Zombie, that was a good reaper. Don Zalug, always one of my favorites. And starting off, we have Natria Barkeon <laughs> as a as a ghost rare. That is awesome. Like I said, you get ghost rares in this set too. I think you're pretty much guaranteed one uh, for each mini box, so that is awesome. After that, we have number 39, Utopia. I forgot how cool that looked as a gold rare. And then also uh, Dark Hole. So all those are really good. I guess this is actually a really good set that came out, too, for gold series. Lady in White. That's actually kind of tough to find nowadays. Skull Servant Hype. At least it's not like White Mare. I mean, that was like a short printed common that was... I think now they're like $15 each, at least the time of this video, or something like that. <laughs> of course, Star Strike Blast, short print, so... Yeah. <laughs> that does make it a little difficult. It's it's bad when it's actually easier to get a hollow from that set than one of those. What do we get from our other pack? More zombie cards. Call of the Mummy. That's pretty good. Sorry my hands are a little shaky too. I took some allergy medicine. Not really feeling too great. They can, allergy medicine kind of makes me shaky anyway, so you might notice that. All right, Soul of Judgment. That's our ghost today. So that's awesome. We got another good ghost rare card to get. Also, Graffa, uh, Dragon Lord of Dark World. So that's another amazing card to get. And Starlight Road. I kind of wonder if we might see this card again. So that's another really good one. Hebblewimmer. <laughs> I always thought he was kind of cool looking. He's kind of terrifying, too. What else do we have? Rayukoki, Lady in White again. So that's awesome. Not bad at all. And then now for our last mini box. What can we end with? Can't really say can we end with a hollow. Can we end with the Branek? I believe he's in the set, so I'll ask for that. Let's see. I think Gores is also like a ghost in this. I think even Blue Eyes, so any of those would be great. Alright, so let's see what we get. First off, Regenerating Mummy, Dark Scorpions, uh, let's see, Don Zalug again, yeah, a lot of the, the same commons on that, which is still pretty good. Zombie Master, and we have another Solemn Judgment as a ghost trick. You know what? That's awesome. Definitely don't mind that. And Call of the Haunted, and Brown Act. There we are. <laughs> I did get what I wanted on that, too, so that's really awesome. Of course, with his new effect and everything, he's actually playable. Also, Lady in White again, but uh, yeah, I've been wanting to kind of gather up a lot of Brown Act, just because he is one of my favorite synchros. And there's a lot of hype around them right now because of that. So, yeah, there we go. Hope you guys have enjoyed this opening. As always, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like the video if you enjoyed it. It definitely helps out a ton. As well as uh, leave a comment to me the openings you guys want to see in the future. And subscribe for more random openings and other Yu-Gi-Oh! related videos. Because, of course, I do news videos. We have, uh, of course, uh, random openings like today. And also anything new that comes out for Yu-Gi-Oh! I do openings on. And I'm planning on some other things too, like deck profiles and discussions and, and some random stuff. So if you want to stay updated with everything Yu-Gi-Oh! Be sure to hit that subscribe button. And, of course, I will catch you guys later. See ya.